Good morning friends. Welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss a Python program to print half pyramid using alphabets. What is meant by half pyramid using alphabets is if I take an alphabet A starting from A and let's take that I have entered the number of rows as 3. If the user has entered the number of rows as 3, I should get the output like this. In the first row, I should get A. In the second row, I should should get B twice. In the third row, I should get C thrice. So, this is the way we need to display the half pyramid using the alphabets. Suppose, let us take that user has entered the number of rows as 4. Then, in the fourth row, you should display the number of D's as 4. 4 D's you should display. Suppose, if it is 5 rows, then in the fifth row, you should display the 5 E's. So, this is the way I want to print an off pyramid using the alphabets. So, what is the task you need to do? First, you need to ask the user to enter the number of rows. I will take a, a variable called row and I will use the input method and you know that input method will return everything in the form of a string but row I want to take it as an integer. So, I am converting into an integer. Enter the number of rows. Once the user has entered the number of rows, it will be converted into an integer and it will be stored in the variable called row. Then you know that we need to use the nested loops concept. Why? Because one loop is required for you to traverse from row 0, row 1, row 2 like that and the next loop should trace the columns like in first row like only one time A should be printed. In the second row two times B should be printed like that columns also need to be handled. So, that is why I will use the nested loops concept. Initially what I will do I will say value is equal to you know that what you want to display you want to start from the capital A. What is the ASCII value of capital A which is 65 ok. Let me tell you again what is ASCII American standard code for information interchange for each character there will be an ASCII value if it is capital A ASCII value is 65 if it is capital B 66 if it is capital C 67 if it is capital D 68 so on. If it is small a you will have 97, small b you will have 98, small c you will have 99, small d you will have 100. Like this you need to provide the ASCII value because I want to start from the capital A. So, I have given its ASCII value is 65. Then what I will do? I will write a for loop for i in I will use the arrange method and I will take only one parameter which is row. First let me write the program then I will discuss it with you for j in range and I will provide i plus 1. Then here what I will do I will print and I will use the chr method to convert that value to an character and display it to you and then I will provide end is equal to space. What will happen I will discuss with you all. Then what I will do I will write value is equal to a value plus 1 and then you will write print without anything. Now let me run the program ok. What will happen we can see. Suppose let us take that user has given the number of rows as 5. Then you can see in 5 rows the output will be displayed. See in the first row you have A, in second row you have 2 B's, in the third row you have 3 C's, in fourth row you have 4 D's, in fifth row you have 5 E's. Similarly, let us take that user has provided the number of rows as a 10. Then in 10 rows the half pyramid will be displayed. See like this you got the output. So, this is the way I want to print the half pyramid using the alphabets. Okay. Suppose in place of 65 you have provided 97 then it will start from small a ok you can see here if I provide 3 rows then what will happen in the first row small a will be displayed in the second row 2 small b's will be displayed in the third row 3 small c has been displayed. But here I want to print only the capital letters that so that is why I have given the ASCII value is 65. Now, let us take that how this program will given the output. Let me run it again and give the input as 3. So, you got this output. 
now what i will do i will trace the program and i will help you to understand how this program is giving this output okay what the user has entered the user has entered the number of rows as three so the row variable have the value called three and you have taken a variable called value and assigned some an integer constant called 65 then for i in range row so this is what this is inner loop sorry this is outer loop and this is inner loop so that's why we will call this concept as nested loops concept means in a loop you have another loop now you know that range method will have three parameters one is the start and another one is the stop and the next one is the step okay totally you have start stop step then you can ask me sir you have given only one parameter it should give an error but why it is not given an error if you does not give the start value by default it will consider as zero and similar the step value default value is one so what is the stop value what is the value you have provided here you have provided the row variable so row is having the value three so stop will be having the value three and how it will work is that i will get the uh, initial value which is start value what is the start value zero so i is equal to zero and what is the condition because any for loop will have the initialization condition then iteration what is the condition here is that i should be always less than stop what is the i value zero what is the stop value three so is zero is less than three yes the condition is true if the condition is true what are the statements which are there in the for loop need to be executed the first statement itself there is a again a loop so this loop will call it as an inner loop again you are using the range method so you will have the start a default value is 0 stop is i plus 1 what is the i value 0 0 plus 1 is 1 what is the step value by default to 1 j you have taken which will be taken the initial value of the start which is 0 and j should be less than stop what is the j value 0 what is the stop value 1 0 is less than 1 the condition is true so the statements which are there in the inner loop will be executed what is the inner loop is having we are using a chr method what is the value is there that equivalent character you will get value ascii value 65 is that that if you convert into a character you will get a capital a i hope you have understood the chr method if you does not provide the chr method then it will display 65 66 66 67 67 67 like that it will display but you want to display the character so that's why i have converted into a character by using a method called chr then n is equal to space so after printing a you need to give a space for you now all the statements which are there in the inner loop is done then where the control will go the control will go to the iteration of the inner loop j value is 0 step value is 1 so j value will be incremented by 1 so j value will become 1 now again you need to verify the condition j is less than stop what is the j value 1 is 1 is less than 1 the condition is false if the condition is false the statements which are there in the inner loop will not be executed the next statement which is there in the outer loop will be executed value is equal to value plus 1 okay value will have the called 66 value variable will have the value called 66 because 65 plus 1 is 66 and print you are not printing anything normally what the print method will do or a print will do it will print whatever you have provided and it will go to the new line but i don't want to print anything and i want to go to the new line so that's why it simply provided the print method then it will go to the new line let me give more space to give an illusion that it has went to the new line in the output you can see after printing a it has went to the new line so all the statements which are there in the outer loop is been executed then where the control will go the control will go to the iteration of the outer loop i value is 0 step value is 1 so step value 1 means you need to increment the i value 
value by 1 so then you will get the i value is 1 i is less than stop what is the i value 1 what is the stop value 3 so 1 is less than 3 the condition is true if the condition is true the statements which are there in the outer loop will be again executed for j in range i plus 1 again start will have the value 0 stop sorry start will have the value 0 step will be i plus 1 what is the i value 1 1 plus 1 means stop value will be 2 step value default value is 1 now j will start from the start value which is 0 j should be less than stop j value is 0 stop value is 2 0 is less than 2 yes the condition is true if the condition is true the statements which are there in the inner loop will be executed print chr of value value is how much 66 that 66 you need to convert into a character which will be capital b that capital b you are displaying here okay this is what this capital b whatever you are displaying now n is equal to space so you need to give one space and then again the control will go to the iteration of the inner loop j value will become 1 j should be less than stop 1 is less than 2 the condition is true again the statements which are there in the inner loop will be executed chr of value what is the value is having 66 that if you convert into a character you will get b and it will be displayed again you will give a space for you okay then what will happen again it will go to the iteration j value will become 2 j should be less than stop j value is 2 stop value is 2 2 is less than 2 no the condition is false okay if the condition is false the statements which are there in the inner loop will not be executed the next statement which is there in the outer loop will be executed value is equal to value plus 1 already value is having the value 66 it will be incremented by 1 so it will have 67 now print you are not printing anything and going to the new line after printing two bits you are going to the new line okay here let me give more space to give an illusion that it went to the new line okay then where the control will go the control will go to the iteration of the outer loop i value currently 1 step value is 1 so i value will become 2 again you will verify the condition i should be less than stop what is the i value 2 what is the stop value 3 2 is less than 3 yes the condition is true if the condition is true the statements which are there in the outer loop will be executed again there is a loop what is that for j in range i plus 1 start value default value will be 0 stop value will be i plus 1 what is the i value here you can observe i value is 2 so 2 plus 1 is 3 the step value is 1 so j is equal to initially you will get 0 j should be less than stop okay what is the j value 0 what is the stop value 3 so 0 is less than 3 the condition is true if the inner loop condition is true the statements which are there in the inner loop will be executed what is the statement is there print chr of value what is the value is there now 67 67 if you convert into a character you will get the capital c so capital c will be displayed and will give a space so this is the capital c you have displayed till now then again it will go to the iteration of the inner loop j value is 0 step value is 1 so j value will become 1 j should be less than stop 1 is less than 3 the condition is true again this inner loop will be executed again it will print the capital c and again it will give a space then the control will go to the iteration j value will become 2 j should be less than stop 2 less than 3 again condition is true again you are printing the capital c and then what you are doing again j value will be incremented j value will become 3 j should be less than stop 3 is less than 3 is 3 is less than 3 no 3 is equal to 3 so the condition is false if the inner for loop condition is false the statements which are there in the inner for loop will not be executed the next statement is value is equal to value plus 1 so value will be displayed as 68 and print so after printing 3 says it will go to the new line then after executing all the statements which are there in the for outer for loop the control will go to the outer for loop iteration i value is currently 2 step value is 1 so i value will become 3 
then what is the condition i should be less than stop what is the i value 3 what is the stop value 3 is 3 is less than 3 no 3 is equal to 3 so the condition is false if the outer for loop condition itself is false what are the statements which are there in the after the outer for loop those statements will be executed as there is no more statements the program will be terminated and you will get the output as capital a in the first row, in the second row, you will get two Bs. In the third row, you will get three Cs. I hope it is clear for you. If you still have any doubts related to this program or related to this concept, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible.